Was I had other jobs. Yeah. My first job was a rapper. Huh? Yeah. yeah. My original job. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Just Saying. We still got two bang bangs with us. And we will be talking about... Okay, we got Luki and uh, Simon joining us for another episode and today we're going to talk about uh, childhood ambitions. What we wanted to be when we grow up, what we are today and what we're going to be in the future. Wow. Yeah, deep conversations. Deep okay. conversations. Okay, we start... Okay, Simon. Uh, Simon. Yes. Last time... Your... Good morning. My name is Simon. <laughs> wow, so this cool. year, I'm uh, 36 years old. You okay. are 36. Your birthday I when? My birthday is 6th of November 1987. Oh, oh November baby also. Yeah. Yeah. Are you like Scorpio? <laughs> Sagittarius or what? No, Scorpio. Scorpio. They say that Scorpio man uh, is the best. Bro, they also say, who say, who say, who say. I don't know. I Google, they all say. So what, my ambition? Ah, uh, last time I'm young. Yep. Yeah. I want to be a policeman. Quite far, eh, bro. Because like we watch TV all this, then you feel like, wow, police like good guy, you know, like very handsome, very cool. And then I go to prison three times now. <laughs> to and do the research, is it? Yeah, la, you, so you know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> to know what's happening. So, do you do anything to work up towards being No, a not at all. So, 16, I start to take drugs. <laughs> oh, okay. So, how long did this dream of becoming a policeman last for? From Until, what age to what age? like, I think primary school. Then I start to mix around with all the street kids. Uh. So what gym is this? No ambition, <laughs> la, basically. Uh, yeah, but as a child, he yeah, has that ambition. Yes, uh, it's, like, it, it's a seed planted inside me. Yes, yes correct. Uh, but I also work with a lot of police uh, when I go to prison. Correct. <laughs> 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 so you manifested wrong way. Uh, yes, bro. wrong way. <laughs> right. Manifestation, <laughs> not ambition. That's got police in my life. Can really. Uh. Right. Ma I understand why it's manif manifestation. <laughs> uh, spell, spell, spell okay. manifest. M-A-N-I F E S T A manifest A T I O N. Wow! Hey. Hey guys, sorry to stop you right there, but breaking news inflation is on a high, and I recently started to look for additional income. So I would like to share with you guys what I learned about trading because I'm considering it as a way to diversify my earnings. Now, what's so good about trading is that you do not have to wait for profit because trading is all about short-term and active investments. It's kind of like owning your own small business but simpler and less time-consuming. Also, in trading, you are your own boss and everything you earn is yours. Now, one of the best parts about trading is that you have more freedom and you can trade anywhere, anytime but just using your smartphone. And you can also start from as low as 25 USD. As with any other investment activity, trading requires knowledge and learning. OctaFX Trading App can help you with this. It provides you with free educational resources and demo account with unlimited virtual funds. And when you feel confident in trading, you can consider opening a real trading account. OctaFX is a global broker with secure and fast deposits and withdrawals via your preferred payment methods. With OctaFX, you can trade currencies, stocks, crypto and so on. And trading crypto is also available during the weekends. OctaFX trading app is available on web, Android and iOS so you can trade from any device, anywhere and everywhere. If you guys are interested, download the OctaFX trading app via the link in the description box below and register for free and start trading today. For those who are a little more confident in trading already and wants to open a real account, use this promo code and OctaFX will double your first initial amount. Now, back to the episode. Hey Luki, yes. your ambitions last time? Same as Simon. Policeman or a doctor? Wow! I'm so into being a doctor until I make my own drug. Wow! <laughs> you know, I, think wow. Same story, I, got, yeah. I got research how to make methamphetamine. Did but you enough, actually? No. Oh. You, you just buy it. I just buy it and I become a drug addict. Correct. Oh. Right. So, what attracted you to become a policeman as well? Oh, they wear uniform, cool, cool, ah. then after that, they arrest people. And now I cannot arrest them. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to work your way up? No. You try? Never. You will study under where? I study under O level, 33 point. IT kick out twice. Eh, hey, same. Okay, Muna? Uh, actually, as a young Muna, I wanted to be a doctor as well. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I would have wanted to be a vet or like a yeah. neurosurgeon. New wow, at yeah. that age, you knew what a neurosurgeon was? Yes. Why? Because Why? I watch TV. Clever. <laughs> because I know that doctors make a lot, 
But at oh, the yeah. same time, I think I was also quite interested in that. And then I also was quite interested in aviation and archaeology. What's so, archaeology? Like, What's aviation? <laughs> Aerospace, 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 <laughs> Why you ask, ah? No, I just curious because the audience might want to know, lah. Oh, <laughs> I, but I know you have a girlfriend. Uh, yes. <laughs> correct. Yes, yes correct. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. <laughs> Almost forgot. <laughs> Simon girl, ah. Yes, correct. Yeah, exactly. But again, that one is number one. Still so, have number two. Ah. Well, you should convert, bro. Convert. Yeah, Islam. Muslim can marry. You already sunat, ah. Yes, correct. Ah, have but you sunatted? Yes, yes, ladies. Oh. But no. <laughs> No, 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 wait, wait, but but his cuckoo bird got extra thing there. What you mean? No, I don't need to know. Acrylic, acrylic, uh, is it? No, la, like, goli, like, goli. Implant, uh, implant, uh. implant. Wait, why are we going into this? Okay, are we wait, not sorry. talking about uh, our yes. dreams and ambitions? Oh, yeah, ambition, yeah, ambition. ambition. Talk about it. Last yeah. time, you want big cock, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Last time, my teacher asked me, what you want to become? Right. Your guess. Alam. Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember, he said that like your friends, you always lend people money, right? No, Alam lah. No, no. The 20 cent, yes. Okay, ah. footballer. Hey, Malay, then you say footballer. <laughs> no, 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 no Oh, why? Also, why? Uh, understand because. Hey, don't say the word, lah! <laughs> <laughs> I want to say. Guys, please. Say lah, no, because what? Because fireman is an ambitious career. You uh, say uh, uh, like, Every time you say all these kind of thing, eh? No, but do you work towards Racist, your yeah, goals yeah. or not? Never. How to work towards bus driver, bro? Okay, what's your? Well, first of all, get a license. <laughs> license. Yeah, you can. Yeah, but I only get take license at eighteen. So yeah. at eighteen, now you how? I thirty, bro. <laughs> Do you have a license now? No, I don't have. <laughs> yeah, but fireman because, wow, I was watching a show, man, and the fireman, wow, best strong. No, because you see a lot of girl like fireman, man. The clender thing, ah. No, fireman clender. Why do you have fireman? No, in the US, yeah, in the US they have <laughs> fireman clender. No, I don't own it. And then how do you know about it? In in shows they have, they buy so fireman. So guy or the the clender guy, guy. is guy. Ah. Yeah, then they put the hose, then they post ah. Oh, the hell, got the guy <laughs> clenders yeah. yeah oh, bro. that's nice, dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to be a landscapist. <laughs> Whoa! At what age do you think um, you want to be make landscapist? The garden one. Yeah, yeah. So at eight years old, I wanted to be a dad. I wanted to be a landscapist. I used to water my um, neighbor's plants, like the entire room, for free. <laughs> for free. Yeah, as I got older, I just used to love like buying seeds and trying to plant my own seeds, but it never grew very well. Um, but yeah, that's what I wanted to be. That's okay. So that, that's what you do. <laughs> really? To me, yeah. So when I got older. What if I can go decorate like you know people's gardens yeah. lah? Or oh, Changi yeah. Airport. Ah, oh, Changi oh, Airport. Yeah. Chinese Garden. Yeah. But y'all never garden. go lah. <laughs> <laughs> no? Why we never go? No, because why we never explore other people's cultures? I was a Chinese, you know. Also, wait on that on that topic. Got no Malay Garden ah? Eh, hey, yeah, why ah? Got Malay Kampung Club lah. Oh, no, 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 no. I never say yeah, that. All jokes, all jokes. Ah, uh, Jet. Uh, Let me guess, cashier, teacher, ballerina, Drugs. dancer, nurse. Okay, when I was young, literally, I I had this conversation with a lot of people. Yeah. I said like, mommy, I just want to marry someone rich. I don't want to work. I don't want to have a job. I just want to be like pretty. I just want to marry someone rich. I want children. Like I was scolded so much as a child. Like everyone, they used to scold me all the time. Why? Why can't you have dreams? Why can't you have goals? I was like, I don't care. I just want to be pretty. Exactly. Who dreams? Who dreams, dreams of labor? That's a good strategy. No, but I mean, it didn't work out. Like now, I have to work. So. <laughs> Maybe I should have applied myself. And you did other jobs lah. I was. I had other jobs. Yeah. My first job was a rapper. Huh? Yeah. yeah. My original job. What? She, she was Wait, Bopia na. Now we... Is it on Spotify or what? <laughs> no, I said like Deep Rapper. Bro, on Kaza. Oh, oh, I thought Rapper. It's in like... <laughs> I just want to... Deep Rapper. the same the first time she told us. I was a Deep Rapper at Bonner. I'm sorry. I was about to say I heard Jade, Jade rap before. Yeah. So I was like, who the f*** 
Spotify her as a rapper. <laughs> Spotify her, guys. I say Spotify all. <laughs> Oh, last time, Kaza, bro. Lime wire, lime wire. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. lime wire. Yeah. I sit outside and then I would wrap all the presents. So cute! Yeah, okay. for like months. Like Christmas season, like the whole of November. Was that your first job? Yeah. Wait, this is very weird. Okay, so one day I was like rapping and this lady came to me and she was like, Oh, you're very pretty. How are you? And I was like, I'm 15. Then she got me a whole bunch of things to wrap. And then she gave me like $20 and she told me like, I want you to marry my son. For $20? $20? Auntie! No, wait, wait, not $20. $20. $20 give voucher. Oh dear! Oh, oh my god! god. So I said, oh, I'm just 15. The next day, she came back with her f***ing son. Handsome. Oh, handsome. Yeah, How old yeah. is your son? How old is your son? Not my age, older oh, than me. I, I don't know, like 20s, 25, oh, yes. 26. Oh, and our son is super weird. So then I went to the back. Then I hide inside the, I hide inside the back room. Then she went to complain to my manager. <laughs> Let's say what? I don't know. This girl never take my $20, don't want to marry my son. If I had a man, I'd say, who's the I bread say. big, don't marry my son, you want it. <laughs> so, you want to be a Tai Tai, but then you became a rapper. <laughs> How do you feel about it? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you laugh at the rapper? Because <laughs> in my head, it's too like that. I was like, yeah. wow. No, but I always knew, I was like, this is temporary. Temporary, bitch. Just work, just work. Okay. Like, in your head, it's like, okay. I was saving up for my nose job because I was like, okay, I get a nose job first. How long were you a rapper for? Two months and then I was a sales associate for like a year. And no, I was oh. working at a restaurant called Wild Honey. I used to be a waitress. Oh <laughs> I used to be a waitress and a barista at the same time. So some days I work on the floor, some days I shake a wow. drink. <laughs> yeah. How old were you? Uh, 16. So there was this one time, I think it was like my first few days at the job. So I was like watching my senior, like my mentor, he was like taking the glasses and he was like stacking it like really really high. I was like, wow, that looks f***ing cool. So I was like, okay, let me attempt to do it lah. <laughs> so I went to clean the tables, then I went tuck 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 tuck. I think it was about like 13 cups, so it was like way taller than me. And I was like, whoa, f***, I got the hang of this. Dude, the whole thing just like, it like literally fell on the ground. It was like, Then what minus me? No lah. Then? No lah, I know how to, I know how to apologize. What what what? what? Hey, can you elaborate more about that? She said that she moved her hair. What does yeah, that mean? What do you right. mean? Was the boss apologize? was the boss a guy? Yeah. Was the manager a guy? What do you mean can by you, you apologize? Can you reenact the part the, where uh, you apologize? Uh, no lah, I just I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like I honestly thought he was gonna fire me. Yeah, actually, what's your first job? How do you all find money by drugs? My one, the first one is banquet. Like, what is banquet? Hotel, banquet hotel, hotel waiter. Oh really? Yeah, hotel with her. He, he won't understand why because he never go through all these stuff. That's right. Difficult. Hey, all fuck you, difficult. bro. Guys. We we last time hey. work clean on eh. Go people house clean house eh. Bro, hey. last time I work yeah. sell Singtel plan on eh. Wow. Wow. Scam one ah. Scam one ah. And you walk around Boogie Street. And also at IT IT fair, bro. Oh, oh you said the booth kind. Yeah. yeah. Hi, you want to buy Singtel Go? Scam. All right. Scam. Just straight scam. All right. Actually, me and Luke are very similar. You know, we work a lot of jobs. The same and. The first job I worked before is also banquet. But it's those, uh, you know those tentage one outside, he, below HDB. Like, like maybe see where you know, hungry go, then they got to the, put the tentage. Then my pay is $40. Uh, one, so, one day. So we, yeah, uh, one day. So 7, seven o'clock, you work until like 12 like that. Oh then dear. you need to take cab home. Midnight charge about 10 plus uh, last time. Then I left 20, 20 plus dollars. Only. Oh no. I work like dog like that. Oh. Right? That's why I work two days only. That's my first job. Thank you. <laughs> so I was a merch girl at What's concerts. That? Oh. Like sell merchandise la. Oh. And I thought it was the coolest thing because you get to watch free concert. But little did I know that while the concert was going on, you still have to tend sell, to the yeah. merch boom. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> yeah. So like one time I really wanted to watch Huber Stang and I was like on oh, Huber, Huber Stang. Stang. Yeah, so I was the merch girl for Huber Stang, like them proud la. And then the reason came on. And I was like, I need to watch them perform The Reason. So it was me and another friend of mine. And then The Reason came on, I was like, babe, we need to watch. Come on, what are we here for? So we ran off. We just <laughs> left the booth. We just ran off for The Reason. Yeah, it was so worth was it. it. We just, and The Reason is here. And then after the song, run back. Uh. Oh, but anything was stolen? No. Okay. I didn't check. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my ambition was to be a policeman. Then secondary school, I have bad friends. Oh, then I started taking drugs. Uh. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Oh, I blame my friends. I don't blame myself. What it's was all the my fault. first drug you took? Weed. Then you still Wait, how old were you? That time I was 15. Oh. So it's more after school? Uh. After school uh, or during school also. Wow. Then uh, when I go to ITE, right? 
that's that's the part where I started trying meth. Mm. Then I become a meth addict from that four years addict. Oh. Then you know the ambition cannot be police doctor and got meth addict. <laughs> you also Simon, you? So I, 16 years addict. I think I start to like become quite rubber is when I start to hang out at Sin Leisure. You know, right? Like, you know, all of us we started to take drugs and all then. Uh, I never hold any job when I grew up. So it was always like just, hey mommy, you got money you can give me or not. It's also like you know, cheating old woman, but I treat my own mother, you know. So like, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just like that. Lah. Then I never have any dream. I Basically, I lost my ambition and things like that. Until the recent years only. What made you get your ambition back? Uh, I think I lost too many things. Oh. I lost my life. I lost my ambition. I lost people. I lost uh, opportunities. Then like, basically, I'm like, wow, at the most bottomless pit really. Then I think that I really need to... Uh, Come up again, uh, you, know. you got ever like, I mean, you're high, everything. You got think like, hey, when now uh, we want to stop? Last time our motive is all the way take on. It's all the way just say, don't okay. care about anything. Mother all don't care also. Every penny you earn is go to. Yes, take mother money also. Yeah, never earn, eh, never earn also. Yeah. Never really earn. Whatever we earn is straight drugs really. Wow, yeah. Then we will also will go and sell drugs. Then when we sell, we get a little money is to take drugs for ourselves. So we don't earn anything. We all just drugs. That must be very hard to come out of. Cause yeah. even if you come out, do you ever ask like, if I stop, what am I gonna do? We got thing, but the next thing we just back into it. So never thought of becoming a drug dealer before. Mini one, no mini mini. Like sell to own friend, then you get that money and you own self thing. So how would you advise anyone that is stuck in that cycle? How? I mean, because you both broke out of it. I feel that. You need to see if you continue this right, th there won't be a future. La. So if, if you want to get help, uh, as from what Simon did last time, he go inside to a halfway house. It's like a rehab centre yeah. basically for people to walk in. Like you know, you have drug addiction, you have gambling addiction, you yeah. got gang issue, then or even like you know, lack of family support. You know, you can really go to a halfway house and it's where you can receive a lot of help. La. Let's say you uh, don't want to make a change right, you continue to spiral down in drugs. There's only a few consequences. Mm. It's either you are in prison. Mm. It's either you know you die. Uh, you die. You overdose. You commit suicide. Basically, you lose everybody la. So yeah. the point where I really think I need I need a change is when I reach the suicidal state. Really, you know. So the last one to two year of my drug addiction, I was very suicidal. Every single day, I just think, wow, how to die? You know, like oh my. I have height phobia. Thank God la. You know, I don't have the courage to jump now, but. Every single day, I'm thinking about it. Then, until oh, I because you went, stay at level two. Right? No, no, I my house got leave. Right? <laughs> then <laughs> my house got leave. Also, like I drank bleach, right? You know, because I don't dare to to jump. Right? Wait, so then I, what happened? That's why uh, I I have my faith, lah. Right? You know, uh, bef I drank already. I was so giddy. Right? I drink a lot of the bleach. Then I was very giddy, and I made a prayer. Then I go to sleep, and oh. then. But I vomited a lot of time and then I woke up two hours later, I feel like refreshed, you know. Eh, it's like wow. the bleach don't try this at me, you know. Don't but try this, guys, don't, don't try this. I never go to a hospital, I never go to any clinic. You know. What the f Yeah. Wow. And that that was when I realized I need professional help. I went to a halfway house and I stayed for two years. So yeah. prison didn't help, the halfway house help? Uh? For me, yes. Prison is just a place for you to have a lot of self-reflection and to think about yeah. life. Uh, yeah. So even after you came out of prison, you still fell back yeah, into Yeah, I still fell back. Habit. The time when I went, because mine wasn't prison, mine was in detention barracks because I was caught in the army. Oh. So when I went in, I was sentenced to 11 months, 2 weeks. And when I came out, one month later, I relapsed. Wow. Yeah. When you try drugs, right, you know how good it feels. Ma. You will be very weak. La. You will fall into temptation again. There's this one time my mother, uh, she came to my room. Then I was already f***ing high, like four days never sleep really. Then after my mother looked at me and said, You are, uh, are you back on drugs? Uh? I tell her, no lah, I don't have lah. Then she looked very sad and disappointed, she closed the door. Then at that point of time, I was also in a very depressed state already. Then I walked past my mirror, then I looked at myself in the mirror, then I was like, wow, shit. I, I'm back again eh. I'm back. If I don't stop this now, that's it really. My life is gone. That's, that's where I decided to cut all the contacts with suppliers, all the friends, everything, and that's where I started being sober. Well, how about you, dude? What, what was your, you know, growing up? I guess was... Stealing panties. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, I had to work at a very young age. So, uh, I was together with this girl, and then, um, oh, that time I was fat. I had a f***ing afro. I was a uh, DJ and everything, but like, you know, like, it was making money, but I spent money so fast. 
So that the branding of me is just this guy is useless. Don't go around him. No one want. In a way, everybody had the idea of me already. Sway sway, go to Zook. Big fight happened. My girlfriend got hit with a bottle. Of oh a, my god. Of a, yeah. So then she was there crying. So okay. So then imagine these two are my friends. Guy ah, my girlfriend here. I entertain my my girlfriend because she crying crying crying. I think about close to thirty people chase them. So then my other group of friends saw all of them chase together. So my friend was running 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 running, and then uh, he had nowhere to run. He jumped from a uh, kapak. Then he never land properly, uh, so he was injured. They take the spana, bam, his jaw, his Bro. jaw broke. <gasps> so then everybody was blaming me. I, I guess that was the lowest point in my life because I lost all friends. Mm. Yeah, and really That's no, tough. really nobody wanted to be my friend. They wouldn't want to understand you. Also, yeah, right? yeah, no, I know. Like, I think from there, change started to happen. Then I started to go and find like proper jobs and everything. I, I guess that needed to happen. Mm. If not. You know, do or not become whatever I am. Who you are today? Yeah. 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 I started working very early in my life. I didn't continue my studies because um, I'm the eldest daughter, and both my parents lost their jobs. They were like, "Oh, Kisha, can you go to work?" Because like, you know, I'm having a hard time finding a job. Now um, I started working as the barista and whatnot lah. But I, I became a flight attendant after that with SQ, so it was stable pay. But then my mom had cancer. Then my Grandfather got cancer. My uncle got cancer. Like my everyone in my entire family got cancer at that point of time when I was flying. So I left SQ to like take care of my mom. Like I went down and I just wanted to find a job. My mom's cancer was quite aggressive at that point of time. Then my grandfather passed away and like my uncle passed away and it was just so tumultuous because everyone just died of cancer. My mom was the last one that had cancer but she was surviving. My mom's fine now, thank God. But seeing how expensive cancer was, I told myself like, what the fuck. I don't want to be poor. <laughs> like, it's so fucking expensive, and you don't know when you can fall sick. So I was like, no, I'm gonna go make a lot of fucked out of money, and that was like kind of my drive. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess mine is quite similar to yours. Like initially, the the struggle I had was with going into a career that was very not stable. When I started to properly grow up, was when my mom was diagnosed with dementia, and at the same time, my dad was going through. A uh, very severe heart condition, so both of them were down. And you know, I've always went through my life thinking like, ah, it's okay. I always have my parents to depend on. But that was when I felt like, oh my god, I need to be a grown up for once. Oh, I want to cry. No, <laughs> well, no, I always cry. Don't worry no. about it. Yeah. Simon, <laughs> That was the point where I was like, okay, I need to be an adult about this. I need to relook at my life decision. It's not just about me focusing on work. It's also me focusing on doing something that. At least helps with my family, you know. Yeah. Like I can't just like rely on them and think that they're gonna be around for the rest of their lives. So, yeah, that's something I'm still balancing, I guess. Yeah, I wanted to say now all things considered, like you guys been through it, went to jail, and if you guys can go back to that little boy that say I want to be a policeman, mm. what would you tell that little boy? A lot of people always say this lah, you know, as an adult, like hey, you must study hard, no, if not you grow up, you regret. Studying is one thing that I really regret lah because uh, when I grew up, you know, a uh, lack of a prospect, right, is something that also kind of make me relapse over and over again. I go and interview job, they give me, they offer me like thousand out, and some they don't even hire me because like on my tattoos and stuff like this. So I think if I can go back to my young time, I will say study hard and like uh, really make a concrete plan and work towards it lah. So will policemen still be the dream? Yes, but not. Uh, CMB. That means like catch drug offender. Anna. Why? It's not right or wrong lah. But I just feel that you know, as a ex drug addict myself, I you understand what they are going through. Yeah, I seen a lot of like a lot of times they want to stop, but they don't know how to stop, and they couldn't stop. And it's not because wow, oh, I take I enjoy, but at the very last part of your journey as a drug addict, right? You are suffering every day while you are taking drugs. You know, it means you are you are taking, but you are not happy really. So yeah, I don't have the heart to catch them. Uh. But you say policeman, yes, I will be lah. So Luke, what would you say to little Luke? Really say no to drugs, uh, because I feel that drug has already uh, affected me permanently. Meth, the drug that I've taken, uh, it actually gives you a lot of dopamine. So without it, right, I you just became depressed, right? Yeah, I become very depressed, and then we. I think it affected me apparently because now, even now I have insomnia. Yeah, say no to drugs. I never even tried once or not. I have a very good friend of mine that passed away and uh, I didn't turn up for his funeral because uh, 
when I went down to the hospital right, and I saw him die in front of me, I went back home, I decided to overdose. Uh. Then I didn't get to send him off one last time. And that is, this, that's the biggest regret I ever had in my life. Uh. If the kid were to look at me and say, ah, you did it, then it's a no. Yeah. So what 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 would you okay, consider okay, successful? No, no. Yeah. So why? Because you can have done so many things better. But now you are in this position because situations have been presented to you because you didn't do anything else better. You get what I mean? I could have stayed in school, studied properly, get proper job. No, 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 no. Put yourself in these stupid situations that you have to navigate and I still have to hustle so hard. You get what I mean? And, and I, I don't want to put it at age to it, but at, at 31, could I have done better if I didn't do all of that? The straight answer is yes. Ah. I think little Muna would look at big Muna today and say, hey, not bad. Mm. Uh, and I think she'd be happy with where I am because at the same time, I also uh, have believed that like whatever gets thrown at me, hey, not so bad. Like, yeah, yeah. you get through it. You got out of uh, it. But at the same time, I also have your sentiment where I think there's so much more that I want to try and achieve. And that's why there's always room for improvement. That's how I always see. I mean like, the, the, my friends around me that grew up with me are like property agents who are f***ing making it, you know, yeah. like, yeah, exactly. And, like, then again, they have to portray that lifestyle that they're making it, so you don't really know. Like, my yeah. best friend is def most definitely very, very rich, but she, he, he doesn't show. But we get I mean, and these people, you know what's the difference? They f***ing just stay in school, man. So your advice would be to stay in school? As in, I, yes, that, I and also don't mix around with bad company. The board, la, but I think like, it's also not fair to compare yourself directly to like another person's yeah. life or another mm. person's past. Com like everything yeah. happens with timing also. I always had this idea that I wanted to marry someone who's opposite from my dad. Someone who like take care of me, take care of everything. And I always wanted to be like stable. So if I look at myself now, I'll be like, wow, because I feel that I did so much more than what I dreamed that I could ever. I didn't even know that the life that I have is a possibility when I was growing up. I didn't even know that it's like possible to, to live the life you have. The right? life that I have. So I'm like super, super grateful. But I would tell that young girl, like, yes, you need like like yes, you might be all wow by me, but don't dream bigger. Like and and actually you don't really need to go to school. So you can kind of forget about that. Alright, guys, in ten years, where do you see yourself? I will have two beautiful children with my Current girlfriend, that one, that one. Then, uh, I just a very normal family life. That is like my dream. No more TikTok. Go, go, go on, uh. TikTok still have to do la. Oh, still have to do la. Right? Yes. Garang, gangster. Ten years, I will still do. Oh, okay, power, yes. power, power, power. Then, uh, like just be a support for my family members la. That's all la. Very simple family man. Ten years. For me, uh, to be able to take care of my mother so she don't have to work anymore. I have a three girlfriend. No, I'm joking. So uh, then also maybe have a car. You know, have a car and a house. Easy, oh. simple life, lah. How is their body? What? What do you mean? House okay, sorry. The Speak car higher. body. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I guess buy a house. Buy a house. Uh, if let's say I'm still single at 35, I want to be be able to buy a resale. Mm. <laughs> wait. Oh, ten years. You are old. Oh wait, wait. Oh yeah, ten years. <laughs> I'm 41. Uh, well, I just want to be rich, ah. Own more businesses, start more businesses. I feel like I'll be done with this life, this creator life, and just sit down and just like, ah, take money. Like in 10 years, I still want to be happy and healthy. Um, I don't know what's going to happen for me in 10 years, we never know, right? But hopefully, I have children by then and happy marriage. I don't know. <laughs> um, do I still want to be in the creator field? I don't think so. La. I can do my landscaping thing by the time, hopefully, maybe when I have like enough money to save up, like, you know, then I'll be like, shit. I got nothing to do now. Why not I go return back to what I wanted to originally do as a kid? Be a f***ing landscapist! Oh yes, my god! Finally something! Hey, no then, way. then you can landscape new house! Yes! yes. You can have a bus! Oh. Oh. Yes. You can buy a bus! You, can pass hey, you know what? You are the bus that bring people everywhere. I am the bus. Yeah! Oh, you... <laughs> As in the, the people charter the bus, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Own bus you own companies. the company. Yeah, yeah okay. that's what you do. Uh, I want more kids. Oh. Actually, no, I, I don't. What? <laughs> I just want to be uh, having fun. Yeah. Yeah.
still. Yeah. It's still slay. Still slay. Yeah, still but, I mean, I'm sorry. I got nothing interesting. <laughs> I am probably uh, retired. And I am just chilling retired? and resting. Yeah, I'm retired not. with something that I do that can also continue like a business. Ah, okay. but at the same time, I'm more rested and just spending time with people who are important to me. Okay. So you come to the end of this episode. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you, Simon and Yuki, for joining us for the second time. Yes, thank you so thank much, you guys. Are. Thank you. Yay. Yes. If you guys have anything you like us to talk about, let us know in the comment section below. If not, we'll see you guys in the next episode.